The Hong Kong government admits the price they have paid for rapid expansion in this city is pollution. Now they say they're doing something about it. More than 700,000 people visited ITB in one day alone. Not bad for an event which really isn't meant for the public. And most of those people were talking about one country, Australia. And one reason was the Sydney Olympics. Tourism officials are hoping that this country may be the light at the end of the tourism tunnel. We'll tell you why Australia is focusing on Argentina next on 11am. Mother Nature has been kind to tourists. It's been raining here in Brazil for four days and today more than 5,000 cubic metres of water per second is falling over Iguazu Falls. If it's dining with a view you like, it doesn't get any better than this. This is the highest restaurant tower in all of the Middle East and Europe. It has a twin tower, an office tower, only metres away. It's even taller than this and built by Australians. This is South Africa's largest motor show and here right in the middle is the launch of Australia's Holden Commodore. Or should that be Chevrolet? While the Burj Al Arab is undoubtedly the number one tourist attraction here in Dubai, tourism operators have long known of the attraction of the Dubai Creek and the famous city skyline. This is the pink building in central Buenos Aires. It's the government house of Argentina. Now this balcony is perhaps one of the most famous in the world. It's where Eva Perón used to address her people.